Hi guys, welcome to our channel. If you're new here, don't forget to hit that like, subscribe, and notification bell. Today we are going on our adventure to Hachapi. It is sunny, it is beautiful outside, so we are going to spend it in Hachapi. It is known for its freight line and trains. It has such a cute little train depot which is free and open on the weekends. It closes early around 4, so that's where we're going to head out first. We also will be eating at an authentic German bakery, which is amazing. Plus, we're going to stop at the train loop to finish off our day. I'll also put timestamps down below in the description so you can feel free to explore the different activities that we do throughout our visit at the Hachapi in California. So without further ado, let's check out the Hachapi Depot Railroad Museum. So whether you are a train enthusiast, a Thomas the Train lover, or just want to explore the town and see some local attractions, this place has something for everyone. Our family really enjoyed taking a time machine back into the past, seeing the uniforms and how life was like, exploring and seeing historical artifacts. And one thing that I really enjoyed teaching my kids is what life was like really before technology came into place. Like we got to see an original vintage phone on the wall explaining how to use an actual rotary phone. And we also got to observe and teach how the typewriter was essentially the original iPad. The volunteers gave us such a detailed tour, taught us about Morse code, and took us into this amazing room that has everything about the train loop and the viewing point. You want me to go see it? Oh, and you would drive there, and you can get to it two ways. So if you're like us and this will be your first trip and want to see the train loop, the museum volunteers can help give you some great directions and the times that the trains will be passing by. And as well as what time the last train will be passing in case it's getting late into the evening. So as we finish exploring and learning about the incredible locomotives and how the rail line started into Hachapi, we'll be moving on to our next stop which would be a local eatery that is amazing and definitely worth the stop. It's even definitely worth the drive just here. It was so fun with more learning opportunities for our kids to really enjoy and see, to really round out the day and make this trip really an educational experience and a great day out, of course. Cohen's Bakery is an authentic German place where they bake their pillowy, soft, and delicious bread every day from scratch. It just doesn't get any better or fresher than that. When you arrive there, the environment is upbeat, it's friendly and welcoming. They also offer a vegetarian option, which is perfect for us, as well as any imaginable sweet. It was such a treat for all of us. We really enjoyed even just spending the time at this restaurant. They had this larger than life, vintage cuckoo clock as well as displays like a museum about the original gingerbread man and steins trains and this wall chalk and so much more and as we were stepping out of the restaurant it was such a treat to hear and see a train coming by so just outside in the parking lot you will see these trains passing by as you spend the afternoon and boy there are so much mail passing by today and after eating our meal, we're going to spend a few moments letting our kiddos run around and play at the free playground just outside the museum. So it's between the museum and the local eateries. So anyone can play. You don't have to attend the museum to go and enjoy this little play area. And it's a great way to let the kids burn their energy before heading on to the train loop. <coughs> So when heading over to the Tachapi train loop viewing point, make sure to drive cautiously and slowly because it's on a whiny one lane road. And if you miss it, you'll have to drive all the way around or drive quite a while before being able to make a safe and legal U-turn. So when you arrive to the enclosed viewing point, there's two monuments on opposite ends of the platform that gives you some historical facts about this area. Like, did you know that this is one of the seven wonders of the railroad world? So I hope you have a fantastic week. And wherever you are in this world, I hope you find your adventure. All right now, I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.